And they're off. The first of today's listed races is the British EBF Bet Victor Gold Castle National Hunt at Novices Hurdle. Racing over three miles and 12 flights to the first, the favorite making your mind up in the lilac colors. Not all that clever. Just ahead of making your mind up is Hurricane Bay, who's away to the right as we look on down the course. Hitchin Jacking, not too far off the either in a white cap, and in the yellow jacket, Regal Blue along the inside, tracked by Khan Funnock, who's in the green. As they came over the uh, second flight, Hurricane Bay just reaching for it somewhat. The back marker in the color alteration, now black and orange for Javinko as they head down past us with now two further circuits of Schoon Palace Park in front of them. So Regal Blue, who won the best turned out beforehand, has now come through to take a narrow lead from Making Your Mind Up, a grade two winner over hurdles this season, carrying five pounds more as a result than all of his rivals here today. And to the outside, Hurricane Bay. Deepest of all in these early stages, Hitchin Jacking. Khan Funnock, in contrast, runs the rails. And uh, Javinko, in the black and orange colors, very much in touch as well as they came over the flight heading away from us. And right-handed now into the back straight and on towards the fourth. They're being led by Hurricane Bay in the hands of Bryony Frost. Bryony, who was in winning form at Kempton the other night, through along the inside, Regal Blue. Under Nick Schofield, who, like Bryony, is having his only ride here today as they reach the next flight of hurdles. And Regal Blue not quite as good there as Hurricane Bay, with Hitchin Jacking landing in third. And then a neck away in fourth, making your mind up in the hands of Lorcan Williams. The trainer, Paul Nichols, who won this a couple of years ago with a very smart individual called Three Under Through Five. Paul, of course, will be crown champion trainer for the 14th time at Sandown Park this coming Saturday. Making your mind up, followed in rear by Khan Funnock and Javinko. Once again, Regal Blue just a little bit flat-footed as they race right-handed back towards the home straight. It hasn't stopped him in his tracks, though. He's practically level with Hurricane Bay as they're now around about a mile and three quarters from the end of this British EBF Bet Victor Gold Castle National Hunt at Novices Hurdle. Hurricane Bay with up the inside Regal Blue. Away to the right, still widest, Hitchin Jacking. Making your mind up, Khan Funnock and the four-timer seeking Javinko. As they come towards the first of the flights in the home straight all over safely. And now reaching the halfway point and towards the hurdle, which will be the last one in another circuit of the track. And they're tightly grouped here, only around about six lengths between first and last. First at this one will be Hurricane Bay, who jumps it well. From along the inside, Regal Blue, who's looking for his third win in a row. Back in third, making your mind up, who's seeking a fourth win of this season. And then a little wider out, Hitchin Jacking, who's just niggled along ever so slightly going past us. Khan Funnock along the inside, recent winner, across the Irish Sea at Nace, and narrowly the back marker, but very much in touch is Javinko. So they head out towards the far side for the final time, and uh, racing now towards their final nine furlongs or so, and flight at number eight of 12 on its way. Hurricane Bay under Bryony Frost to the inside Regal Blue and Nick Schofield, with closer pin behind them, making your mind up. Hitchin Jacking on the wide outside, didn't make a great shape across that one there, did Hitchin Jacking as they now are about to enter the back straight for the final time. Khan Funnock in the green jacket along the inside of Javinko, still very much in touch, the last couple, as they race down the far side of the track for the final time, and on now towards hurdle number nine. Just five lengths between first and last here, Regal Blue and Hurricane Bay. Over the next flight, and pretty much exactly the same thing happened as it did on the previous circuit with those two. Faster across it was Hurricane Bay, but on the level in between obstacles, Regal Blue applying pressure for the lead and takes over now. So Regal Blue ahead of in second position, Hurricane Bay. Hitchin Jacking has been working a little harder perhaps than a few for a small while now. Making your mind up, he's smothered up in between horses. Javinko moves well, wider out, and Khan Funnock to the inside, and just three lengths between the lot of them on taking the third flight from home. Regal Blue now nudged along towards the 
inside, holding the position with up around the outer Hurricane Bay, who's back for more and travels powerfully under Bryony Frost. Within behind them, Javinko making stylish headway in the black and orange colours has gone off at a big price. Making your mind up now, being ridden along. Khan Funnock follows and Hitchin Jacking now toiling at the back of the field as they make the run down towards the second last flight. And look at Javinko away to the right, absolutely swinging away here, Stephen Mulqueen. Down towards two from home, what will he find? Javinko taking on Hurricane Bay for the lead with back in behind them making your mind up and then Regal Blue, Khan Funnock and Hitchin Jacking on the run down towards the final flight of hurdles here and it is Javinko down the outside who's breezed to the front, approaches the last flight of hurdles and absolutely pings it as well, gets away by six or seven lengths, how impressive is this? Second place is Hurricane Bay making your mind up and Khan Funnock are next, good horses being made to look very very slow by Javinko and it looks as if Lucinda Russell has got a very, very nice prospect on her hands again. It's a double for Lucinda. Javinko is a most impressive winner and beats Hurricane Bay and Khan Funnock further back to making your mind a pitch in jacking and Regal Blue. Gio Vinko then, Stephen McQueen winning jockey. How impressive was that? Yeah, very. I mean... <laughs> He'd won two races coming into it and he'd made the running in him and he'd went a little bit left, but I think it was just because he was in front, he was in a right good look. And I was delighted when I could take a lead today. I'd said to listen to him all along, I think he'd be better with a lead. He travelled through the race beautifully, switched off and gone to three out. I thought I'd just give myself a bit of room. I couldn't believe it when I turned in. He'd been swinging, didn't you? On the bridle, literally. Uh, and I thought jumped two out and I thought will I stay sitting or not and I thought you know what I'll put the race to bed and we can afford to maybe be slow at the last or something but yeah it was pretty impressive. I think Lucinda said after Carlisle he's going to be a future star I'm sure you agree. Yeah I, I, I always liked him but he's, he's blown me away there to be honest. Yeah. And the, the stamina and the pedigree as well three mile chasers in the pedigree I think we know where he'll be going. That's it he was always a horse for next year we were kind of just biding time he's a big frame and he, he can be hard on himself at home so look we'll look forward to him having a summer's grass now he's, he's had an unbelievable year and we'll look forward to him coming back next year. Nice one Stephen. Cheers thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com